have been gone from YouTube for like two months. Exciting news. We're going into work to install some more parts to our S650 Mustang. So I've been on YouTube for, you know, more than a few years, obviously. And in that time frame, there's been a lot of cool things that we've done, a lot of cool places that we've been, a lot of cool people that we've met. It's been a huge blessing, honestly. Um, just being immersed in the Mustang community as much as I have been over these past, you know, few years. And it's really exciting because things are about to get even more intense. You know, I got to link up with other YouTubers. We got to go to like the media press event for the 2020 GT500 unveiling where they dropped it out of the ceiling. We've been kind of around the country. We've been racing, we've been doing this, we've been doing that. You know, it's been a real treat, a real blessing. And it's really all thanks to the community out there, you guys watching that's made all this possible. And you've also made this new career opportunity possible. And we're gonna get into that. We're gonna go up here, we're gonna do a little bit of a shop tour because a few weeks ago, I was hired on as the new performance technician at our huge Ford dealership, Jenkins and & Wynn. And it's been so busy over the past few weeks. We've done some really cool and exciting things. Being the performance technician, we basically are gonna be building customized vehicles. Okay, so anything from mud flaps, tonneau covers, um, dash cams to supercharger suspension, heavy suspension, heavy builds, um, uh, the sky's the limit, guys. Basically, the things that we've been doing over the past few years on YouTube, and now I get to do that as like a career, and it's really exciting. It's really exciting. I've already built a few amazing projects. Maybe I'll get to show you a couple in today's video. We got one on the showroom. It's just really exciting. Um, it's a Bronco that we did a lot of cool stuff to, and it's just really exciting. Uh, this coming week, we're doing more Bronco stuff. We've got a supercharger install for a 2024 Mustang, so that's exciting. Exciting. really really fun it's really cool so I've uh, been given a, kind of a lot of freedom to do kind of what I want up here at this uh, dealership and it's it's been really exciting it's been really rewarding over the past few weeks and we are just getting started but we're gonna go up here we're gonna get this car on the rack because we got a couple of things that I'm going to install today uh, some much needed modifications <laughs> Mustang with the NGW shifter, the Corsa exhaust, the BMR suspension, which is one of the things we're going to be installing today, is some more BMR hotness. So today's my day off. We're going to go up here. We're going to have some fun, give you a little bit of a shop tour. Um, it's a really big dealership, Jenkins. When if you're not familiar, I'll link it all down below. But basically, if you want your car built anyway, I mean, kind of the sky's the limit. Uh, we can do it all. We can do everything. So you don't just have to buy a new car and then option in the parts and accessories that you want. You can do that, but you can bring us your car. You can bring us your Mustang. You can bring us your truck. You can bring us your whatever, and then we can build it kind of how you want. So kind of a performance shop within the dealership is the goal. And so far, we've had great success. So I'm gonna quit rambling when we get up here and uh, get this thing on the rack. We're gonna get this video kicked off, started. Let's have some fun. Let's mod this 24 Mustang. Give a little bit of a shop tour, but I gotta say, guys, such a blessing, such a treat, and it's really all thanks to everybody out there, all of you guys out there watching. The depths of my heart, honestly. I mean, you guys have really, really paved the way for what we've done and for the future. So we're still gonna be doing YouTube stuff. It's just been honestly too busy to pick up a camera over the past few weeks, but we're gonna try, we're gonna keep going. You know, the Mustang stuff is not going anywhere. We're just getting started, but now we're gonna be able to take things to a new level. All right guys, a little tease. So this is the size of the dealerships. You got the Honda building, you got the big Ford building, and then the footprint is massive. So behind that, you got the body shop. You got the new pro building up there for commercial vehicles. Uh, got a new Lincoln building going up, and the fleet sales is going behind that. 
the foundation's not even laid yet, but I mean, the inventory that we have to play around with is massive. Uh, the dealership is huge, the footprint is just insane. Kind of what Jenkins and Wynn is all about. It's just big time, big time dealership here. So really excited to be able to work for these guys because I've been buying cars from them for years and uh, getting to work for them now uh, and then build you know stuff like this Mustang or trucks or this or that or whatever and do all this performance stuff now as a job kind of like what we've been doing on YouTube uh, but do it as a career now is just a huge blessing and opportunity so let's get pulled in here and see what's what Some Bronco shopping all right bit of a tour here tons of trucks trucks for days so up there is the new pro building so all the commercial stuff uh, there is the detail and then behind that we've got the body shop and then I'm right here in the corner heck yeah let's get to work This is what we're doing. We're doing some tow links from BMR. Guys, visit the video description down below to save money on any of these parts. What better way to buy the parts than to save money doing it? So, promo code Xander7 down in the video description. Pick you up a set of these. Very important because we had a lot of fun at Mustang Week and I really haven't filmed since then. But we had a flat tire, we replaced some, some back rear tires, and then we developed a pull issue. So, we got it aligned a few times actually in the car kept losing tow and so one of the ways that we can do to remedy that with all the rest of the uh, suspension is to upgrade some of the parts so we're going to start with this we're also going to eventually do the uh, the tow knuckle bearings I'm not going to do this today we're going to see how well these perform and if we can fix our tow issue basically in the rear um, and get rid of the pull so in this box also is something else that's pretty fancy so make sure that you are watching the entire video so that we get to this surprise in this thing i think that you'll really like it and goes on the interior but let's get some tools install some parts and go from there so another huge shout out is this brand right here let's come down here so i love our milwaukee's okay good stuff and then we've got the cobalts or whatever they're actually not bad but this is better but i gotta tell you this right here so a company off of amazon reached out to me and they uh, they're like hey look we have tremendous faith in what we sell okay and we'd like you to test it especially with what you're doing now as as a new job right so i've been putting this i've been really putting this thing to work um comes with two best let me just show you what it comes with because it's really impressive for the price but video links down below for this guy and i gotta tell you it's been keeping up with this guy right here um i think it's better than this but it's definitely been keeping up with the milwaukee um so but for the money and what you get in the box, it's really shocking. So let me show you what it comes with. Robust True. All right, so video description, check them out. I'll link it all down below, but you get this hard case. When you open it up, okay, it gives you two batteries, your charger, and it gives you some sockets here. Common sizes for what most of you guys out there will use. And it's just nice that it comes with all of this. You know, my Milwaukee's came with the little bags over here. So this is a nice hard case, already kind of an improvement. And for the money, guys, go check it out. They don't just have, they don't just have half inch. We're gonna actually use this today for our install. I'm gonna show you how well it works. But I've been like very highly impressed. Highly impressed. And check that out. So different settings. It's got the light, big battery, you get two of those. Guys, this has been really, really impressive and I've been beating the crap out of this for a whole month now. 
And this has been like my primary driver that I've been using. And I just wanted to kind of see if it would like, you know, hold up. And I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. All right, let's get some wheels off. We need a 21 half inch. Love it. No problem. Those are also torqued to 150 pound feet. So lots of BMR goodies in here. So what we're gonna be doing though is this right here. We're gonna do an adjustable tow rod. So the car keeps losing tow. I don't know if this keeps slipping. I have a suspicion that it might be actually this bushing. So we're gonna replace that and not today. We're gonna see how these go right here, but should be a really easy install. We've done them in the past, you guys know, but uh, it's one of those things that when you start doing the lockouts, the springs, the sway bars, this, that, and the other, that you really kind of want to upgrade everything as you go. This is just one more piece of the pie. Pretty cool, because we can get actually underneath the car now and do work. Instead of being on a jack stands at home, now we have a shop to do it in. So pretty exciting, but we need, we need to get some long tube headers on this car uh, ASAP. So, um, yeah, that needs to happen. We need more power. But let's come to the back. Got the nice Corsa. We've got the BMR goodies back here. The sway bars, man. That's like one of the best first mods that anybody should do. And then these are adjustable. I've got them pretty much neutral in the back and the front. Really, really changes the car for the better. And then we've got the BMR handling springs. We've got their lockout kit, uh, CB005, which is really common. It makes a massive difference. But So adjustable tow rods. And the benefit too is you got these little lockout plates. Okay, so what happens, that what can happen is you can lose your alignment if these aren't torqued properly or something happens. Um, this bushing also deflects. Like I said, we're going to do that uh, probably in the near future. And then when it's time to adjust your suspension and fine tune your alignment, double adjustable and then it will lock in place with wrenches and you will have zero movement it will not lose tow and they're affordable but like i said you guys want to save even more money visit the links down below and use the promo code xander7 at bmrsuspension.com and save quite a bit of money on all of their stuff so all right easy install we're gonna just basically get this bolt out and get that bolt out and then repeat the process for both sides and then we're gonna move on to that box right there which uh, is pretty exciting so let's get to work. This is an easy job, but there is a couple of steps. Anyway, there is a certain orientation that you want to put these. You want to reinstall when you put the new one in, and then we'll go through the whole process so it's done correctly. You guys can see how it's supposed to be. We can test out our new half inch right here. See, comes right out. A lot of torque holding that in, but she's out of there. Now would be a cool time to go ahead and push these out. I'm not going to do it today for the sake of time, but um, I mean, there is some deflection. I mean, can that change some movement back here? Can that cause some movement back here? Absolutely. So we're going to address that. I'm just going to visually look at it. It doesn't look bad, but it is rubber inside of here. And you can move it a little bit. But more power you throw at these cars, you know, everything matters. At least with the adjustable tow rods, we'll be good and we won't keep losing tow because every time that we look at the car the alignment would change and it was coming from the back end so now we're going to be good to go with bmr help saving the day all right so basically kind of like essentially what you guys saw in the car is you have this little adjustment dial it's got these notches you got those little slots in there and then it's kind of oblong so anyway as you spin this around it's going to uh you know push out or pull in this tow rod and that's kind of how this thing works but we go to the bmr we have these lockout plates all right so there's a shape difference here so this being kind of filled in a little bit this is going to face up okay this bigger end is going to go towards the front of the car so don't get that wrong spherical bushing and they don't cause like nvh or anything like that so um, pretty sweet. But anyway, as far as just kind of a rough alignment, putting them back in together, you just get your bolts and line them up kind of like this. And then you make your adjustments. And then if you're close, and you probably will be, you can get there, 
um, then you can just reinstall in the car and then you can definitely check your alignment and I would recommend that but you know if for driving for a couple of days on the street until you get that done that's how you get close so very nice stuff here spherical but will not make noise let's adjust this out get the same length as what came out of the car put it back in the car same thing on the other side of the car and we'll be done Once we're on the alignment rack, then we can make fine-tune adjustments just by turning this and then locking these back down in place and you're good to go. Remember that this bigger side is going to face towards the front of the car. The lockout little plates here, right here if you're not familiar, there are little dimples that basically this is going to sit right in there. So what's really cool about what we're doing here is we're going to be turning this whole area into basically a mini performance shop within the dealership and basically this is the kind of stuff we're doing. So it doesn't matter if it's a supercharger, um, if we're doing headers, we're doing exhaust, we're doing suspension, we're doing wheels, tires, cosmetics, badges, interior bits. I mean the list goes on forever. Whatever you guys want we can install and it doesn't have to be mustang we do we've been doing a lot of truck stuff a lot of bronco stuff um anything from like if you want a dash cam installed on your nautilus i mean if you want running boards put on your explorer i mean we're doing everything if you want to change badges anything accessory performance related we are able to do that here so again video links down below check us out but this is just kind of a little taste of what we got going on over the past few weeks though we've been doing a lot of things um um, so I just got done with the Bronco, a big heavy build. Mostly got done. We got to do a lot more to it. Uh, this week with an F-150, it's going to be pretty sick. Uh, it's going to be out on the lot. And uh, I think, what, Wednesday, Thursday? So we're also doing a 24 Mustang Supercharger from Ford Performance. The BMR suspension is in. It's going to complement everything else that we've done to the car. Help with launching, help with cornering, handling, everything. So anyway, this battery's about to die, so I gotta switch it out. I forgot the other one at the house. But um, we do need to get into this other box, this surprise. Um, this is gonna dress up the interior a little bit. So let's get the battery figured out, and then we'll just keep trucking along. But I mean, this is it. <laughs> 